up, fam? My name is, is Richie from, from Crank That Response. <laughs> and, and we're joined here today with, with Crank That Frank. Hello, everyone. says, how do you feel about the Richie situation? Let's, let's talk about that. Absolutely disgusting, horrible. I cannot believe he did that to Jacqueline. I am no, in any capacity, I am n no longer associated with Richie, social repose. I'm so disappointed in him. And it, it, it's making me very angry talking about There's absolutely nothing wrong with being a massive fan of an artist or band or what have you. There's nothing wrong with being a super fan of an artist or band or a stan or being interested in what they had for breakfast or knowing every single word to every single song. There's nothing wrong with that. And obviously, if you are familiar at all with Frank's content, he takes the super fan and he is he is the embodiment of it. He is the super fan. Oh, which way is he? East is up. And like I said, that's fine. Until I start seeing patterns in his behavior that make me feel like it's more a ploy in audience pandering and to try to seem relevant to his viewers or to find things to relate to with his viewers as opposed to actually being head over heels for these bands. Here is the real reason, or at least the, the main reason what pushed me to make this video. And just like the Jesse Page video, I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, but some things can't go unsaid. He was met with universal praise from his audience, from my ex-girlfriend, from everyone that was watching, but I wonder if they would feel the same if they knew how he treated his girlfriend Eva. Frank hasn't always been faithful with his girlfriend over his lengthy relationship with her. Frank has dangled financial obligations over her head when he knew damn well that she couldn't support herself on her own. Eva even explained at the last Playlist Live when we were all still in speaking terms how she was afraid to leave Frank because she was terrified that he would turn his audience against her and she would have nothing left and she felt incredibly trapped. They flat out made an accusation that I've cheated on Eva. Eva, the love of my life, the girl that's been with me since before YouTube even started. The girl that I've built my entire life with, and they have absolutely no basis and no no ground to stand on at all. They just said it. And I can I, I will not, I will absolutely not let that stand. I've been with Eva for five years. And she's the love of my life. We've had rocky times in the past, just like any relationship does. And we got through it. And we're stronger. And we're stronger than ever. And you're not going to take that away from us. Whatsoever. Eva's been with me through thick and thin. Through so many things. And I would, I don't, I would not be here today if it wasn't for Eva. There's some things in our private lives that we prefer to keep private. But when you make an accusation like cheating, you've gone... Not just a little too far, but you've dove over the line. You, you fucking 